hello everybody welcome back to the channel <laughs> so today um, we are not going to have any pen reviews today we are going to have an ink review All right so this is the first episode of ink splash so this is the name I have given to my ink reviews so I was looking for a green black ink for a long time and I could not find any I found diamonds green black ink but you know I did not like it or I was not satisfied with it so I decided to make my own you know or mix my own green black ink so I chose waterman for that so uh, what I did was essentially just took uh, waterman's intense black ink and harmonious green inks and mix them together so I took around 60% black ink and 40% harmonious green ink so that gave me a you know very nice blackish green ink so that I'm going to show you here today so you can see here you know the ink how does the ink looks like it, it has both green and you know um, black touches to it so let's do some writing samples with different nibs right okay so first is a fine extra fine nib basically this is extra Okay, then we have fine. Then we have medium. And then we have a broad in broad nib. So you can see as the <coughs> nib size increases, the ink shows its characteristic. It, it tends, it shows, you know, it, it gets more subtle basically. And then I have a flex nib also. Let's see. Oh, too much feathering yep so by the way this is a normal 75 GSM paper so it is expected so feathering and bleed through is expected in, in on this paper so if you go go to the higher GSM paper 90 GSM or 110 GSM paper the ink is going to perform well and this ink actually perform this is a water mining so you know it, it'll perform even I have mixed two wings they are they are going to perform same on, on you know on different on different different papers basically okay so let's look at a stub nib basic Okay, so there you go. So we have different nibs tested. Okay, so now 
that sends some mul multiple passes let's check for them so I have a swab here right so I'll have one pass two passes third pass so we'll wait for and come back to it again so let me mark it one two and three okay till then we can you know look at some other characteristics i did some chromatography of this thing so here is the result of the chromatography right, you can see here 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 was the ink drop and i put this part in the water so here we have the you know uh, contents of the ink basically it has mixture of all the green ink has had blue yellow and you know light green and and black ink basically had the black purple thing purple ink into it so it's a nice mix of you know multiple inks it's not a you know a, a single colored ink you can see now okay so let's do a grid also and we can do some waterproofing test also let me make a grid here I'll make two grades basically. Okay, so we can have a swab test and a water drop test also. Test basically. So let me have a drop of water. Okay, I have a drop of water and I'll put a drop of water here. Okay. And I have a swab and then I can what this is so I'm missing. okay and now let's check for some drying time I'll have a medium name okay so this is one second this is two seconds right and so by the time it reaches 3 seconds in the 75 GSM paper the ink is almost dry right so let's have second pass okay I just want to have a splash test also actually. Let's have a drop of ink onto my finger. I'll have a drop I'll have a drop here and I can splash it. Okay, so this is a splash. So this ink um, you won't see much sheen onto this ink I think because of the paper but if you want to see the sheen maybe you can go ahead up to the 90 GSM or more than 90 GSM paper so that do some writing sample with a broad actually to see the feathering and the bleed through right so I'll just write the quick Okay, so let's do a third, if it is, yeah, it is dry, so let's do a third pass. So, okay, with the third pass, you know, it is much darker and it, it is greenish, yeah, so it is not, it is a dark green color, you can say that now. So now the water drop has, you know, completely uh, chromatized that ink for this 
<coughs> swab it is quite waterproof ink is quite waterproof and if you look at the behind of the paper oh this ink has bled through yep it has bled through so this is this is a characteristic of all the water mining so if you use this water mining on any 75 gsm paper or 80 gsm paper they'll bleed through but if you go higher 90 100 these things perform very well so i think uh, i did some experiment and i really like this ink now and the performance on of this ink onto the in, in, inside the converters is also good it is easy, easily washable it does not stick to the converters so i think i'm going to stick with this ink and i'll remake this ink again okay. and by the way if you want to mix uh, multiple inks do use the same brand you do not you know use different brands and mix together they can cause harm to your you know fountain pens uh, okay this was the, this was pretty much it for today and this was thank you for watching the first episode sorry for that i'll see you again